one thing that I'd also like to do, if you don't mind, is I want to sign, uh, send around these sign-up sheets. This is no obligation, but we're, we want to know who's interested in fiber and uh, who's interested in having that in installed. And I've got uh, on here your business name and your name, phone, email, but also whether you're interested in for your business, your home, or both. And so if I can, if I can just send this around and have, have those of you that are interested just so we can kind of keep you up on what's going on with this fiber network. So let me kind of pass that on to Brad and he'll start that, that around. And um, then we, we do have uh, three gentlemen here who are very uh, knowledgeable about the network and what its capabilities are. And um, I'd like to start with you, Dave, if you don't mind, uh, and kind of talk a little bit about the, the uh, fiber network and what its capabilities are. Dave is with Pulse Broadband, and, and they're designing the system. Well, thanks. Uh, I am with Pulse Broadband. We're the engineers that are designing the network and kind of overseeing the construction. Speak up. That's, that's only feeding into the camera. Oh. So I, I have to speak loud. Is that what you want? All right. <laughs> I can do that. <laughs> Not a problem. That better? I ah, Yeah, it's in there somewhere, right. At any rate, uh, I am with Paul Broadband. Uh, we're the engineers that are designing the network and overseeing the construction. We'll be proofing the network and getting it turned on and doing support work uh, as Kit Carson uh, asked us to. Now, the, the system is owned by Kit Carson. So everything that has to do with what's going to be on it, how it's built and so forth, has nothing to do with us. <laughs> what we do is to make the system work to the specifications that we originally laid out. Now we're capable of, of dealing with just about any kinds of businesses that want to be on it. Let me give you an example just a little bit about one of the things that happened in terms of a system that we're building in Missouri to show you how, how the business side of this actually works. We're, we're, we had a system that as we were building it in Missouri where a gentleman came into the co-op office and asked if, if we could build fiber about a mile off the main road where he saw that we were going to put fiber. So the co-op said, sure, they'd be happy to do that. And the guy said, if you do that and you bring it to this 80-acre site, we'll go ahead and we're going to build a new factory here. It's going to employ 80 local people plus some people that we bring in. And it turns out that this company actually builds harnesses for John Deere tractors. And now in the middle of nowhere, I mean really in the middle of nowhere, Missouri, is a new factory that's going in to do this. So, it, you know, this, the network is designed to support just about anything you want to do. If you can figure it out, if you have a question, for example, here in uh, Kit Carson's territory, we had a gentleman uh, come up to us and ask if we could monitor their gas meters or their gas tanks, an LP competitor to Kit Carson. But they approached us and said, is it possible for this network to actually monitor how much fuel is in these tanks? And so we looked at it and we said, well, sure. That's, that's pretty easy to do. All the equipment's off the shelf. I think Kit Carson's probably doing some of that now. And it's really easy to do. We just have an interface between our network and, and the equipment that they have available. If Kit Carson wants to strike a deal, we can do it. Our job is not to make the deals. Our job is to support the deals that are made by Kit Carson. So keeping that in mind, we provide the technical expertise to take what you want to do talking to Kit Carson, and then allowing us to figure out how to get it on the network. We, in turn here, we're working with the hospitals. We're working with the University of New Mexico Hospital in Albuquerque. We're dealing with, uh, you know, obviously Holy Cross, and our up in Kit Carson. By the way, um, Luis was kind enough to say that if they built out half of Angel Fire first, it would get turned on. That's because that's the half I happen to live in, up in Angel Fire. So, I, <laughs> but it, so there's a perk to being the engineer. Anyway, there's, um, so our job, again, is to support what you want to do. And I think if you allow your imagination to wander just a little bit, 
and figure out how some of these things can be beneficial to, the, to you. We can figure out with Kit Carson how to make this a doable deal for you. Real estate's really interesting. Uh, there's a, you know, distance learning is interesting. Just about any manufacturing job is interesting when you start looking at how it can uh, be uh, uh, supported by this kind of a network. The network is as powerful as any major network in any major metropolitan area anywhere in the country. That's what's being built here. Now, our history with Pulse, the engineering side of that, comes from a long time ago. You know, since 1982, we've been building networks with fiber. So we have a good experience on what goes on within these networks and how people begin to use them. We've had all kinds of requests over the years for people to come to us and say, you know, we want to do this from here to here, can you do that? Well, yeah, we can. We just have to understand what you want. Remember, there's, there's two kinds of net or, or, of, of applications. There's the internet that you're all very familiar with, where you get online and you go anywhere in the world, you figure out what it is you want to do. There's the intranet that occurs within the footprint of the network that we're building. Two different kinds of applications, two different kinds of utilization, both at the same time are, are very doable. So, the network again, if you look at Kansas City, Houston, Chicago, now these are all systems that we've had our hand in designing over the years. This system is as powerful, if not more so, than any of those. It's also more flexible in terms of how it's utilized because it's owned locally. It's, now, for those of you that are from Comcast uh, or Time Warner that may be in here, Time Warner is my old company. And we outperformed them hands down. No question about it. So when you look at how this is going to be utilized, we really encourage you to start thinking around how communications in general, whether you're doing things like selling from your home. By the way, the local post office in Angel Fire, if it weren't for the internet, it would be out of business because my wife wouldn't be buying anything. She buys boxes upon boxes upon boxes of things that are delivered in Angel Fire. She is the most loved person at the post office, a guaranteed hands down. So this is another example of how things can be used. I work from home, many of our people work from home, and we have a very sophisticated business. So how you make use of the network is really up to you. Our job is if you ask, how can I use it or can I do this with it, our job is to explain how to do it. His job is to say how much it's going to cost. Any questions for me? I'll be here this afternoon for as long as anybody wants. Happy to pass out cards. We've got a couple of other folks that Steve wants.